hope that landed outside the line of the leg stump, but Dickie Bird says that's out. You heard it. So New Zealand tragedy. Brian Young gone on the first over. Short run. He's bowled him. Straight through the gap. Might have been a wee inside edge. It sounded a bit like it. But the end result is the same for Shane Thompson. He's gone. Akram has his second wicket. And New Zealand uh, plummeting even further. They're 128 now, but for six wickets. But well, we'll see here, this is it once again, that ball was of a length. Thompson's feet were just, he was crease-bound, wasn't he? Had the bat away from the body, got an inside edge. He'll for a catch down the leg side, and away he goes. Once again, Dickie Bird gave the batsman the opportunity to wander off. In the end, he put his finger up, and Danny Morrison is caught down the leg side. It's either... Yes, it's always a difficult on uh, replays like this to say yeah or nay. Dickie Bird will be going on sound as much as anything, he's certain. Always oh, followed him, so that's the end of the New Zealand innings. They're all out for 175. Akram has done it with the last ball of his over. That's the 67th over of the innings and the 24th bowled by Wazim Akram. He has four for 60, the best figures of any Pakistan bowler. for New Zealand. Wazzy Makram has the wicket and it was a very tentative shot from Mark Greatbatch which has brought about the fourth New Zealand dismissal and Pakistan are delighted. Yes, we're seeing here this ball just moved away a fraction. Probably didn't bounce quite as much as Greatbatch uh, thought it would but uh, it's a ball he probably could have left alone but that's a problem when you're out of touch. Actually followed that and it finished up being just a straightforward catch to the keeper. Akram oh, got the wicket he was looking for. And that is the end of Andrew Jones. He's been bowled by Akram. And a disaster for New Zealand. With Jones playing back and across and the ball just going past the defences.